beautiful day today and whatever you like to do. Some art books I've been looking at recently. Because I want to learn more, I want to see what all the art books are like. I've never explored this genre before and I want to immerse myself in this area more. Um, Still Like an Artist, which is a cute little book. I'm not sure that I got a lot out of it, but it's one that I want to keep and have on the bookshelf and the kids will read it one day and I think I'll go back to it every now and then and maybe something will speak to me. The Danny Gregory book, An Illustrated Journey. So he was one of the guys from Sketchbook School. Um, so this I am enjoying. This is like every double page is a different illustrator or every chapter is a different illustrator. And it just shows what they do in their art journal. Um, a lot of the, a lot of them are documenting travels, which is why it's called an illustrated journey. And I'm not giving a very good <laughs> flick through here, but I just want to show you that there are loads of different styles, and then it kind of has a little text description of each illustrator and what they like to draw and how they like to draw and where and when and why and everything. Um, so I'm enjoying that one. I got the new flow, which I'm absolutely loving. There was a list recommended by Marlo Stavris, who was one of the illustrators from Sketchbook School. She put together seven books that she recommends for illustrators to read. Not that I consider myself an illustrator, but I'm just, you know, I want to look more at books about art and drawing and creativity and imagination and all these kinds of things. So I'm just getting them all from the library and you know, you never know what you might sort of stumble upon. So one of the ones that she recommended was the Animated Survival Kit, which is definitely not something I would usually get. It shows you movement and it shows you how a person walks and how you might depict someone dancing and stuff. And I think I'll probably just kind of flick through the book and then return it to the library. I borrowed this book from my parents' house, Lonely Planet One Planet, to have a browse through pictures from the whole wide world. And our friend Peggy gave me a voucher for the School of Life and I was originally going to buy like a workshop or something there, but there wasn't anything that kind of interested me at the moment um, and I've done a, a few of their workshops. So I thought I'll buy some of their products instead because I don't have any. And I saw this one in the shop, Art as Therapy, which sounded interesting. So I almost kind of bought it on a whim, but it talks about all different artworks and then about what's going on in those artworks and working through emotions and stories. And yeah, I haven't even started reading this one yet, but there is a, I thought it was like a thin, book but it's actually massive and it goes through like contemporary whoop, contemporary artwork as well so a real variety in there and the other thing I got with her voucher was a book of kindness cards seeing as that's my topic for this year so School of Life has um, little boxes of cards on different topics they're prompt cards so every now and then I see the box on my messy desk and I pull one out and I read it. We should not blame other people for failing to know us as we want to be known. They are not tragically inept. No one properly and entirely understands and therefore no one can fully sympathize with anyone else. Every now and then I come across one that's kind of has more of a, an idea about it or a prompt or a 
something that I can change my behavior. This was another book that was recommended on Marlis de Vries's list, illustrating children's books. So it was interesting to flick through all the different illustrators and illustration styles and like there's this section that I, I particularly liked was like character development, like the concept of getting to know your character. So if you were um, writing a story, getting to know your characters, writing a story and thinking about you know, what are all the different expressions and poses and everything that these people would have? What are the things that they would do? What are the things they would like? Talks about all different mediums and techniques and includes a lot of different examples showing children's book illustrators initial sketches and then sort of how they refined that and then how they got to their end product and then the end product. So that was interesting. If you have any art book recommendations, anything in the vicinity of that topic, please let me know. One of the Melbourne urban sketches that I follow on Instagram, she's I think like the main organizer, Evelyn Yee. I saw her mention on her Instagram feed a couple of times recently she did a portrait of a person which I haven't really seen her do a lot of portraits before it's usually like uh, urban sketching on her account but underneath them she had written um, playing with the sketchy app and I was curious I thought it was probably an app like procreate for iPad which everyone talks about um, actually for sketching but I looked it up uh, one day and it's a art sharing app. Now, I thought that this was a wonderful little niche idea and it looks like it's a bit thriving at the moment because it's new and it's exciting. It's got a bit of buzz happening. And what I found extra exciting about it was that they have art challenges. So at the moment they've got 30 days, 30 portraits. So you pay like $10 and you join in the challenge, you get prompts every day and then you have to upload what you're doing. I don't know what you get at the end of it. And the other one was something to do with Cupid. So you get a Cupid on Sketchy and you have to draw them and they have to draw you. And I also love that there's a community aspect. So there was this question that I thought was wonderful. How do you take artistic inspiration from a foreign culture without exploiting it? which I have been interested in myself as a quandary. The only thing is that it seems to all be about portraits and I think it would be really cool if the app was about art in general. It seems to be you get inspiration from the inspiration section, which is all these people uploading shots of themselves in like maybe interesting clothes, environments, facial expressions, whatever and then other people draw that person and I think one of the goals of Sketchy is to hook up illustrators with commissions so you see that someone draws portraits in a certain way and you're like that's wonderful I'd love to commission you to do this sketch of my pet or foot or whatever I think that's just quite 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 niche like beside it just being like illustration and drawing and art and everything that's like then just going faces and commissions and yeah so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that James and Skye are playing with light switches in the other room so there's a bit of a bit of a party happening over there this is a cheat because I should not have sent this to you by email but I did and I'm very 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 naughty uh, so I might have to go in the hallway for one minute But the tango video I should have left it for this and talked about it here So forgive me I'm going to talk about it again because I just think it was really good And I know you've already seen it because I was naughty and I emailed it But Jason Kotke posted this time loop video 
an animation of all these people coming into a room and doing things and then leaving the room and then it repeats and then it repeats and I thought it was just wonderful so I will link that below with all of the other millions of links and the last thing is a website that I found called Inky Goodness and it has interviews with graphic designers, interior designers, illustrators, digital artists, you know, all these different categories and highlights and features. So it's like a online magazine and it's owned and run by an agency called We Are Goodness. So that always makes me feel like, ooh, I wonder how long this thing will be like good quality or run for or anything because I can be cynical about when agencies decide to do side projects but I was really enjoying reading and flicking through Inky Goodness and looking at all of these different artist styles and the original way that I found out about it was that there was an interview with Franerd and she had linked to it and I was like oh Inky Goodness that's a really cool name or something what is that thing where is this interview what other interviews are there so i'm going to read more of that website responses can you choose february's art project thank you sky do you want to come and help me do the bye i love you song yeah sure. no do you want to help goodbye i love you it's almost right. Is it the goodbye I love you song? Almost. Oh, and I forgot to say regarding tidy houses, I think the thing that helps me best is being in spaces that are like awesome. So if I go to the children's friends' houses and they have all of their toys really tidy and the children's bedrooms look amazing, then I get back to my house and I'm like, okay, I've got some ideas and this needs to go and da 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 da. And likewise, if I go into other people's houses, like friends, or you know, I just break into other people's really nice houses and then I come back to my living room or my bedroom and I'm like, I think I'm gonna steal some ideas from Anna Kendrick's bedroom because that would look really good in mine, etc. And Sky agrees. Bye. I love you, bye, I love you, bye, I love you.